in me see, which is breast cancer that spreads to other parts of the body. I am living in the moment and taking Ibrant Pelpocyclid. Ibrant's 125 milligram tablet with an aromatase inhibitor is for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive, HER2 negative, MBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Be in your moment. Ask your doctor about Ibrant and visit Ibrant.com. Ibrant may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrant may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrant, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Thinking about life insurance? What if you could make one free phone call and learn your best price from nearly a dozen highly rated price competitive companies? Well, that's exactly what happens when you call Select Quote Life. For example, George is 40. He was getting sky-high quotes from other companies because he takes meds to control his blood pressure. But when I shop around, I found him a 10-year, $500,000 policy for under $25 a month. I'm Select Quote Agent Dan Savino. And believe me, if Select Quote isn't shopping for your life insurance, you're probably paying too much. For your free quote, call 800-509-1667. That's 800-509-1667. 800-509-1667. Or go to selectquote.com. Since 1985, we shop, you save. Get full details on the example policy at selectquote.com slash commercials. Your price could vary depending on your health issuing company and other factors. Not available in all states. Southland weather from KFI. The morning fog out there. Partly cloudy today with highs in the low 70s for the beaches. Near 80 for Metro LA and Inland OC. Mostly sunny in upper 80s for the valleys. Upper 90s in the Inland Empire. Triple digits in the high desert, low 80s in the mountains. Temperatures will be in the triple digits in the Inland Empire for most of the week. And we do have a chance for thunderstorms in the mountains tomorrow through Wednesday. Right now, 66 in Orange, 64 in Dana Point, 64 in Santa Monica, and 63 in Malibu. We leave local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Layla Muhammad. <laughs> and talking about the things that truly matter in life and of course the afterlife I encourage you to be bold and brave and go to the phone with your theology question dealing with God, religion, spirituality, worldviews, the Bible or if you're going through something in life we call them life situations I'd love to hear from you as well anywhere in the U.S. of A dial 800-520-1534 that's 800-520-1534 one five three four 
as the Tokyo Olympics 2021 come to a close, so many stories, as usual, come out and become highlights or lowlights, depending on how you see them, of the world itself, the individuals, the pressure that the world puts on individuals that is almost like when you get into the public form of any kind, an athlete, an entertainer, that you become owned, that people get this attitude that you are there for them. And the Olympics were supposed to be a joy and a focus on the human spirit, the dedication of and the physicality of an individual or a team coming together and proving their best. And as much as I hear people complaining that uh, the Olympics has lost much of its shine, sparkle, it's become too political, or this or that, the reality is, you could turn that mirror around and focus on the individuals watching. You hear stories of things being thrown at athletes on the field. People treating them like caged gladiators that are supposed to go out and take each other's lives for the enjoyment of the people watching. And more and more, there is this bloodthirsty, you know, I, I use that with an in quotes because it's not always for blood it's for emo emotional torment or whatever the individual watching can get out of it it's one thing to sit and be an armchair quarterback second guessing everything thinking you know more than everyone else it's another thing to take to social media and attack people that have dedicated their entire lives to focus on being the best or making their country proud, making their sport proud as a whole. And although you can point out the two specifics, Simone Biles, for one, when she withdrew in July from individual all-around gymnastics and the competition there, to focus on mental well-being. What could have and should have been a beautiful moment of support not only by a hope a home country, but by a world that is saying these people are individuals and should be applauded for not for not only understanding their physical limitations at times, but also their emotional and mental motivation and strength at times. And I know as more has come out since that, that July statement and more understanding has unfolded, that shouldn't even be necessary. Trusting the athlete to know themselves is part of the key. So why do I bring all this up to you today? Well, it's really about freedom and the misuse of freedom. And there's so much talk about that word, liberty, and what these things mean, and the battle they're in, whether it deals with uh, rules, regulations, and common courtesy during the pandemic whether it ties into getting a vaccine, whether it ties into getting uh, wearing a mask, all of these things tie into freedom. And it's bizarre when you look at what that means from the simplicity of the definition. Freedom is the absence of necessity, coercion, 
or some sort of constraint in choice or action. So the same voices that might be saying, don't coerce me to do this, are coercing others. Saying, well, you shouldn't walk off, you should always just push through, or you should... It, there's this weird... this weird abuse and pollution of freedom. And I see it more and more. The faceless nature of social media has obviously been a huge part of it. But freedom is, is not this um, knockdown, drag out battle. It actually is a thing of beauty that should be guarded, not only your, your own, but others. And even if someone doesn't do, and I'm not talking about something harmful, but doesn't do something that you agree with, with their freedom, you have to know that helping and protect them is protecting your freedom as well. Galatians 5, 1, it was for freedom that Christ set us free. Therefore, keep standing firm and do not be subject again to the yoke of slavery. That concept of, uh, of, yes, you should defend your freedom, but it's also to defend others. It goes on to say, for you were called to freedom, brethren, only do not turn your freedom into an opportunity for the flesh but to love, serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word, in the statement, you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, take care that you are not consumed by one another. The concept of using your freedom to attack others is shined a light on in Galatians that you will develop, you will take that very freedom in abuse in a pollution and perverted sense of that freedom and you will start to pick each other apart the exact opposite of that freedom you've heard Time after time, things like your freedom to smoke ends at the freedom of my nose to breathe. There is an interaction of freedom that will always be. And someone's free to do one thing, but not this way or that way. Structure isn't coercion or constraint in choice or action. Structure is for community, to deal with one another. Anytime anyone makes a decision that they think is for their best mental health, physical health, or any of those things, we should applaud it. Many of the things that I saw written or spoken about Simone Biles were disgusting and and so unsupportive of humanity. If you see a broken bone, I know it's easier to go, okay, well that is something that's a problem. But this strange attitude towards, and let's be honest, a lot of it comes from males to push through in all things is not always beneficial. And that, to be forced to push through against your, the, the, the God-given tools of looking through and assessing and diagnosing your own self and saying, oh, my diagnostics, I don't feel focused, I don't this, that, goes against 
freedom. You, you should say, okay, you're not coercing. You're not putting someone in constraint so they can't make a choice. That to me is the epitome of being an athlete. Can you imagine, you know, uh, one of the, the films that is being talked about quite a bit right now on Disney Plus is the film, the documentary, Stuntman, about Eddie Braun. And it's interesting that the most time is taken. The stunt lasts just a tiny fraction of time. All the time is preparation. And one of the last things that is said on the communication devices is go, no go. Because they have the choice to say no go if everything isn't where it should be. to save money this year? Look at Allstate. You can get the protection you need at the low rate you want. With Allstate, you can lower your rates, not your expectations. Visit Allstate.com or call an agent for a quote today. Why would a plumber just tell me what it costs to unclog my drain over the phone? Is it that complicated? No, it's not. It makes no sense at all. They obviously have a price. Whoa, you've got a nice aroma. Who are you? Mike Diamond, the smell good plumber. Will you tell me how much dumps out my drain? $99. But you haven't seen it. Don't need to. Doesn't matter if it's a kitchen sink or a mainline sewer stoppage. The smell good plumbers at Mike Diamond will unclog almost any drain for $99. Almost? Yeah, there are a few exceptions, but you can read all about them on our website before you call. Just go to thesmellgoodplumber.com. Wow, you're like up front and everything. I just called a guy named Bubba who wouldn't tell me anything. No Bubba's here, ma'am. Just professional plumbers who show up on time, smell good, and unclog drains for $99. Call us. 1-800-446-MIKE. Contractor license number 399170. For eligible individuals 18 or older only. Not available in Oregon or West Virginia. Results there. See website for details and for safety information. If your hearing aids are two years old or older, you may be missing out on the huge advancement in hearing aid technology now available with Lively Hearing Aids. Switching to Lively Hearing Aids is like going from this to this. You'll be amazed at the difference. Our rechargeable hearing aids last up to 30 hours without a charge. Bluetooth enabled, they can stream music and calls directly through your hearing aid. And adjustable settings in the Lively app put you in control of your hearing. If you've been waiting to replace your current hearing aids because of the cost, the price of Lively hearing aids will be music to your ears. Lively hearing aids cost half the price of most hearing aids, and they're backed by a 100-day money-back guarantee. Try Lively today risk-free for 100 days and save $100 at listenlively.com slash radio. That's L-I-S-T-E-N-L-I-V-E-L-Y dot com slash radio. Listenlively.com slash R-A-D-I-L. Thinking about life insurance? What if you could make one free phone call and learn your best price from nearly a dozen highly rated price competitive companies? Well, that's exactly what happens when you call Select Quote Life. For example, George is 40. He was getting sky-high quotes from other companies because he takes meds to control his blood pressure. But when I shopped around, I found him a 10-year, $500,000 policy for under $25 a month. I'm Select Quote agent Dan Savino. And believe me, if Select Quote isn't shopping for your life insurance, you're probably paying too much. For your free quote, call 800-509-1667. That's 800-509-1667. 800-509-1667. Or go to selectquote.com. Since 1985, we shop, you save. Get full details on the example policy at selectquote.com slash commercial. Your price could vary depending on your health issuing company and other factors. Not available in all states. 
Whether it's offering curbside or next day delivery for online orders on over 160,000 parts or getting involved in their local communities, when it comes to serving you, Napa's Motor never quits. That's Napa know-how. I love the ocean. I also respect the ocean. So when I'm paddling, I always wear my life jacket because things can change fast. You should do the same, and so should the people that you're with. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. Checking KFI traffic. We do the flow during Eagle Rock, 134 eastbound from Colorado Boulevard to Fair Oaks Avenue. All links close until 10 a.m. In this city, uh, 10 eastbound at Normandy. It's a brush fire that has the on-ramp shut down. Traffic is slow from western. And through Sun Valley, crash clearing on 170 southbound of Sheldon. That's now over to the right shoulder. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan Weiss. It is the Jesus Christ Show. I am your holy host. Happy to be with you this Sunday as I'm with you every single Sunday right here, answering your questions and talking about things that truly matter in life, and of course the afterlife. I encourage you to be bold and brave if you have a question dealing with theology or life. Give me a call at 800-520-1534. That's 800-520-1534. Freedom. How do you use yours? Do you use it to tear down others and their freedom? Do you balance it out? Do you see it as the gift that it is? Freedom is a gift of love and trust. Freedom is a tool to teach self-governance, not an excuse for unbridled behavior. You are given this gift not to abuse it and do whatever you want, whenever you want. It's a tool that God gives you so that you can build your own restraint. Freedom doesn't mean there should be no restraint. Freedom means no one is enforcing some restraint on you. So you can enforce your own restraint. Do you understand the difference? It's not that you get to run amok doing whatever you want. It's that you're given this gift to squelch and to modify and to control yourself. That self-governance has to be a part of it. And it's quite specific as you go through the entirety of Galatians 5, 1. To see that it doesn't mean you just run in every direction doing whatever you want hurting people. Verse 16 says, But I say walk by the Spirit and you will not carry out the desires of your flesh. Even in that freedom... God is saying, gird yourself in the spirit so that you're not just making decisions, emotional decisions, and the physical mindset in, in the flesh constantly. You're not led by the law, it says. You're led by the spirit. Now, when you get into it, doing things in the flesh, it becomes evident, it says in Scripture. Immorality, impurity, idolatry, sorcery, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions, fractions, envy. These things are spoken about in Scripture 
that when people abuse freedom, these are the places they go. And more and more we see that abuse on social media. And now, as the pandemic slows, but new variants and concerns, you still pe see people being ugly to one another. Not wanting to serve one another, not wanting to go back to work, not wanting to connect with one another. Only worried about that, their little world. That is not freedom. That is abuse of freedom. You are listening to The Jesus Christ Show. To ask your question, dial 800-520-1534. Layla Muhammad, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. A realtor has been shot and killed in Huntington Beach. Three other people were shot, including the shooter at a home on Operetta Street around 11 yesterday morning. Police say the shooting was apparently over a family dispute about selling the home. The home is in probate, and the dispute was between siblings who are trying to sell the home while one of them is living in it. The annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally is underway in South Dakota. The 10-day event is expected to see about 700,000 people. And that has health experts like Dr. Shankar Kaur with Rapid City's Monument Health concerned about the Delta variant of COVID-19. Here you're talking upwards of uh, three quarters of a million people showing up in a small town of Sturgis. So the likelihood of a spread of this variant uh, is uh, very high. About 60% of the state is fully vaccinated against the virus. Sturgis will be distributing COVID-19 self-test kits at the event that runs through next Sunday. Two Canadians are being fined $16,000 each for submitting fake vaccination cards and COVID-19 test results. The two traveled from America to Toronto and did not stay in government-authorized accommodations as required by Canada's public health agency. And comedian Trevor Moore has died at the age of 41. The co-founder of the sketch comedy group The Whitest Kids You Know died Friday night in an accident. Moore was the world's youngest published cartoonist with his book Scraps at the age of 12. He went on to write and direct the Disney XD series Walk the Prank and was the creator and host of the Trevor Moore Show on Comedy Central. Let's have some road work on the tin West Covina. It's going to be on the eastbound side of the 10 from Grand Avenue to the 57. They have the two left lanes phoned off. It's going to go until 11 a.m. Also, some road work in Ontario on the 10 westbound between Archibald and Vineyard. Two red right lanes coned off there until 5 a.m. And we have a brush fire in Mid-City, L.A., steady spun in Normandy. That has the on-ramp shut down. Traffic is backing up to Western. Play the fly in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan White. That's my weather from KFI. Some morning fog, partly cloudy today, and highs in the low 70s for the beaches, near 80 for Metro LA and Inland OC, mostly sunny in upper 80s for the valley, upper 90s in the Inland Empire. We leave local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Layla Muhammad. Attention homeowners, Interactive Mortgage has dropped rates again to a rock bottom 1.75% weight in APR. Yes, it's incredible, a rock bottom 1.75%. And if that's not enough, Interactive Mortgage will even pay your title, escrow, and appraisal fees. That's right, no point and no fees. Absolutely zero. Zilch. None. So what are you waiting for? Call now and take advantage of these never-before-offered rates. A 1.75% weight in APR with no fees whatsoever. Call Interactive Mortgage now at 844-371-CASH. That's 844-371-CASH. 844-371-2274. Or visit InteractiveMortgage.com. Waypoint Corporation, DBA, Interactive Mortgage, Equal Housing Lend. Terms and conditions apply. New clients own loan about $350,000 to $548,250. Minimum FICO of seven forty and maximum LTV of 60%. All loans subject to underwriting approval, and not all applicants will qualify. Loans made or arranged pursuant to California Finance Law License Number 603 f 93 in Get sizzling solar savings now with Semper Solaris, your local veteran-owned solar and battery storage contractor. Being veteran-owned matters. Here's veteran, founder, and owner, Kelly Shawhan. In the military, when you give your word, it just is your word. You work hard and keep your word, and that's what we do every single day. Everybody did exactly what they said they were going to do, and that really impressed me. I heard about Semper Solaris and found out that they were veterans. So I knew they were going to do the job right. Declare your energy independence. Choose solar panels made in America. We get the job done right with esprit de corps and honor. 
add Tesla Powerwall and prepare for blackouts. Grab the federal 26% solar and battery tax credit. No interest or payments until 2022. Call 415-354-2969. 415-354-2969. Or visit SemperSolaris.com. 26% federal tax credit based on eligibility. Consult your tax advisor. Cannot be combined with any other offers. All approved credit. New customers only. Some restrictions apply. Expires 831-21. CSLP number 9781-52. Masks are coming off. Seasonal allergies are on the rise. And COVID-19 is still out there. Sneezing, runny nose, cough, and fever can be allergy symptoms. There are also symptoms of COVID-19. If you have symptoms, get tested and find out if it's COVID-19. COVID Clinic offers free COVID-19 testing for both insured or uninsured patients. Make an appointment today at covidclinic.org. COVID Clinic offers no out-of-pocket cost COVID-19 PCR diagnostic test with lab results in one day for persons who qualify. Conditions may apply. Visit covidclinic.org for details. Hey gang, it's Conway here for Cars for Kids. Selling your car means lots of stress, placing ads, prepping the vehicle, meeting potential buyers, and negotiating. Thousands of people have saved themselves that hassle and headache simply by donating their car to Cars for Kids. It's super easy and hassle-free. Go to carsforkids.org to donate. Plus, you'll get a tax receipt for a charitable donation and a vacation voucher. It's easy and painless removal of your car. Go to carsforkids.org today. And remember, that's cars with a K. AMI. Live and local. And our radio station. I have never uh, been accepted for what I do for a living. 
Um, and uh, I've always just been very independent and very self-assured of myself. I okay, think what, what is it, Linda, uh, that you, into the particle. What do you what do you do for a living? I, I train horses and I train dogs and I've always been in the animal industry mm -hmm. um, and been very successful. Of course, it always comes with ups and downs being self-employed, um, but they just have never respected that. They, you know, are professional and um, they don't they don't respect who I am. Uh, okay. These are their words or this is your perception? Um, you know, they, they, it's their words, in, in um, other words, they'll say, well, when, you know, when I was growing up, well, when are you going to get a real job? You know, those kind of comments, and, you know, my, my comment is, is that I have a real job. I mean, I'm very successful at what I do. I'm not an attorney, I'm not a doctor, but I, I've lived my life living my passion, and I'm, you know, I love what I do. I'm a very happy person. Um, and they are not happy for me. Has it ever caused drama of any kind that permeated the family? Uh, lack of money, need to borrow, having to go back to live with mom, anything like that? Never. No. I, believe me, I have, you know, gone up and down. I had a really horrible accident in 2006, and I never, my, my family, none of my family could take me, first of all, but secondly, I've never, ever taken from my family. My sister and I have always um, never gotten along. She was abusive growing up, and um, she um, is just that she's that way in nature with other people as well. Um, and uh, you know, I just I've never ever. So well, I left when I was 18, and I never went back. Have you ever been referred to by your family as drama or any specific word or anything? Have they ever? Uh, criticize you rightly or wrongly that is not the case right now. It's just have they ever um, used words to describe you? The, the, well, I, I would say it's drama, but um, I would say that they, they, they feel that I'm argumentative. Okay. I don't see that, but that's... And I guess I'm argumentative because they criticize me, and then I defend myself. And well, so that's a little different than not seeing it. You said you didn't see it, and now you're saying, well, okay, I may be, but it's because of. Um, have you ever well, heard that from others not in your family? No. Okay. I am greatly respected with all my others. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, who wouldn't want to live their passion? And, and do a living for everything that they love in life. I, I feel very fortunate and gifted. Well, sure. And if you have that, if you have that gift, you use it. And if it's a if it's a job that doesn't hurt anybody, people get weird like this. And I know I I understand there's families that only believe uh, in professionals. Like you have to be a professional. You have to go to college. You have to do all these things. And again. I'm not saying that college doesn't have benefits. Of course it does. But it doesn't mean it's for everyone. And it doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that important people that have gifts and abilities uh, can't go and follow those. Someone needs to do what you do. That's why it's a job. And if it pays and you're healthy and all of those things and happy, yes, people should support that. It's frustrating, especially if families get into their little cliques and they